Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and we are playing Minecraft 1.4.5. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of tutorial on logic gates. Now if you've never actually seen these before, don't worry, I'll try to explain the best I can. For those that have seen them, this should be kind of fun for you guys as you will know what I'm talking about. So, let's get started. The first one that we'll actually be doing is actually one called a not gate, also known as the inverter. What it'll do is, from the input, it will invert the output. So I'll show you how to do that. It's actually kind of fun. I'm just going to get this set up. And there we go. The output will be this redstone lamp. The input will be a simple switch. Oops. Now, before we actually get to this part, um, note that the default state of a redstone torch is on. That's actually quite important. The switch, while flipped up, is actually turned off. So there's no output here. There's no current flowing through the powder. Once you turn it on, it does flow through. What do you think will happen if you introduce another current to redstone torches through a block? It will invert it and this is why it's called an inverter or a NOT gate. Because the output is on, it'll invert the output. Sorry, because the input is on, it'll invert the output. Now if the input was off, this would be turned on. And this is why it's called the NOT gate. It reverses everything through one simple torch at the end of a block. As you can see, this is technically the off state, but because of this, because this is the default on state, it will turn it on. Again, we're going back to this. If it's turned on, it's then turned off. The reason why we did the not gate first is because we're going to need it for the next one. And this might actually seem a little familiar for you guys, the not gates, because technically we used not gates when creating the uh, redstone clock that I did in a couple tutorials ago. This is a AND gate. I'm actually going to show you two versions of this, one which is kind of in-depth and you know you can expand it and it's easier to maneuver while the second one will be more compact. I'm just going to get this one set up first. So your outputs, or sorry, you're, you'll have two inputs and one output like usual. However, keep in mind that this also technically uses a, you know, a not gate, but we don't really have to worry about that. Just know how to actually get this set up and you should be fine. So as you can see, these are both, oh wait, did I do that right? No. Okay. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, these are both turned off and the output is turned off. If you flip one of them on, note that this torch goes off. The other one is fine. It's still producing current and because of there's a not gate here, it reverses it. So then it leaves it off. However, if we turn both on, it'll then flip the output on, which is what we want. This is useful, especially seeing as there's a not gate here, so it reverses everything. And unfortunately, that's the way that you kind of have to do it in Minecraft. But I'll show you a bit of a smaller version because we don't really need two separate blocks here. This is only if you want to separate them and make them, you know, far away from each other. For a compact version, all you'd really have to have is just the front part, in all honesty. So you'll want that, two inputs, an output, and powder. That's all that's needed. So note that both of these are flipped off. Once you turn both of them on, it'll invert it, and there you go. And there you have it. That is the AND gate. The next one on our list is going to be an OR gate. So it'll require either of the two. Actually, soon I will have to go sleep in my bed. So I'm just going to actually put in OR gate. Run for my bed. Oh, I can only sleep at night. Okay, so it's not quite ready yet. Um, okay, so we'll get the OR gate set up really quickly. No, that's not, a, not what I wanted. We'll need the block. We started it right here. Okay, now I can go sleep in my bed.
Okay, so this will be the OR gate, which, you know, it's similar to what you'd expect from the AND gate, but the logic is a little reversed. Rather than putting the inverter torch here, what you want to do is invert both of the inputs. I know that sounds a little weird, but just trust me on it. I'll show you why. Okay, so as you can see, both of these are turned off, right? As soon as you turn one on, remember when you flip down it turns the input on, it'll reverse it from here by turning it off. It'll turn this one on, which seeing as it's not inverted here, if either one of these are turned on, this will turn on. Now this is the lengthy one, or the lengthy way to do it. A short way is actually kind of simple, although these are only really required if they're, you know, short range. Oops, there we go. Well, not really required, but I mean, it's simpler, so why wouldn't you do it if it's a shorter range? Okay, there's one switch and two. It's that simple. If one's turned on, it'll work. And if both are turned on, it still works because it's still feeding the current from the block to the output. Okay, so so far we've learned how to do a NOT gate, an AND gate, two versions of it, and two versions of an OR gate. But let's say you want to reverse it. Let's say you want a NAND gate, which means if both of the switches are flipped off, which visually looks like they're both flipped on, to have the output. And a NOR gate, which is again sim similar to this concept, if either one of the switches look like they're flipped on, it'll then turn on. So I'm actually just going to turn off all of these current switches. They're no longer needed. Okay, so this will be the last two of this video. These are going to be the NAND and NOR gates, which are basically a NOT gate mixed in with a AND and an OR. So it'll reverse the expected output. So the next one on our list is actually called the NAND gate. Now it's actually quite similar to the AND gate with a few minor changes, which I'll show you in a minute. We're just going to get this set up. Now I might need to rework this a couple times to get it to work, but um, yeah, we'll definitely get it to work by the end of this. I'll definitely mention that much. Um, okay, so the basic change is the fact that rather than just having these three, you also have two more on this side. Now, because we're doing it the way we are, this can actually technically be really expanded to be anywhere. But note that both of these switches are flipped on, which means that they're both off. If one of these... Oh, wait. Aha, see, I already made a mistake. I forgot that. So if one of these are turned off, the output, sorry, if one of these are turned on, the output will reverse, right? So you, we need both of these on in order for it to work. Because as you can see, just by doing that, that the output when flipped off is turned on. So we have to flip them both up, which turns both off, and then the output goes here. The reason for that is basically the double NOT gates that are here. And I know it's confusing, but I mean, it's to get the cool effect where if you flip a switch on, it'll turn on the output. The last one that I will show you how to do is also called the NOR gate, which is the opposite effect of the OR. So we will get that started, and uh, we were pretty much done. And now, well, you'll see. I'm going to set it up really quickly. With an output. So again, one output, two inputs. It's a little different, but it happens. It really, really does. So there you have it. Although these are turned on, because they actually hit these torches, both outputs are then turned off, which, or sorry, both of these torches are turned off, which means there's no current going to the output. If any one of these torches are turned off then, 
or when any one of these levers are turned off, it sends a current to one of the torches, which then can be sent to here. So this is a NOR gate. So to wrap up, let's go over what we learned so far. We learned how to invert a current using a NOT gate. So again, because the is turned on, the output is then inverted. If we then flip the switch off, because this torch is in the default state of being on, it'll continue on untouched and it will output properly. We learned how to do an AND gate, which again, both of these switches need to be turned on for this to work. So if I only have one on, it will not work. I need both of the switches flipped on for the output to work. This is because of the extra NOT gate at the end. It inverts the signals to make sure that both are working or both need to be turned on. This is a condensed version of that same switch. So again, because this is off, this torch is off. Because this is off, or sorry, because this is on, yeah, both of these are turned on. So if, you know what I mean, right. So yeah, both of these have to be turned on, which is the on state right here. Again, this acts as an inverter both of these are then turned off, which is inverted, and then turned back on. So that's how that works. Uh, and again, the OR gate, again, a similar concept to the uh, AND gate, except for the fact that we have inverters at the beginning and none at the end. So what this allows is for one of the switches to be turned on and it works. Similar concept here. And uh, NAND gate is basically the opposite, so both of them have to be flipped off for it to work. So both have to be flipped off, which is flipped up technically. And again, here we have the NOR gate, which is again, similar concept. Either one of them have to be turned off and it will work. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, redstone tutorial of mine. Um, hopefully it wasn't too confusing and hopefully you guys learned a lot. Now, once you actually figure these out and actually how to use these, you can get very complicated with a lot of your stuff, your redstone circuits. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the basics of logic gates. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been Castle Caden. Hopefully I helped. So until next time, guys. Have fun.